What's up, guys? Welcome back to our October Day 19. How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. I'm fantastic. I'm freaking awesome. I got me. I mean, I got me a jacket this morning. I'm so happy. But, anyways, um, I'm at Sam's Club. I can't be getting me a brownie Sunday. We're releasing a piece of the soda or something. I don't know. Y'all, I have not been in the store in a month. Y'all know I'm addicted. Look at these kids. I can't eat pickle pinky, but I love pinky. Look, I want some pinky. My daughter showed me a hot sauce the other day. And I was like, man, I want a pinky. <laughs> now I just get pinky. Them $11.30. <laughs> like, seriously, that's a lot. So, yeah, this is not really a shot with me. I'm just in a store. I went to the farm today. Yay! First time back in over a week. So very excited. Um, so I did my four hours. Y'all, we did feed me today and I helped a little bit. I put the food in the buckets and stuff like that. I didn't get any sun to feed up. But I let one side of the horses out by myself, all of them but one. And I was so scared. I took my precious time. I kept opening the gate and then how about behind the gate? And when the horse come out, I go and lock the gate back. I did the next one like that. Um, I turned out two horses today, so that was exciting for me. Yeah, I feel like I'm slowly and steady getting back to things. Of course, we did cleaning as usual. We got to be cleaning. We clean every weekend. Um, one of the young ladies, she did like a practice ride. She was doing very good. I was impressed. I was thinking about doing a practice ride. Yeah, I had a meet with Solana Cycle today. Completely missed it. Completely missed it. It was at 3 and I was at farm at 3. And then I had to wait till four or something for the bus to come. So, look where I made it to. <laughs> We're at the Christmas hour. Why am I over here? There is nothing over here. It's not Christmas. We still got to get through October, November, then December to get to Christmas. But, anyway, how you doing? <laughs> Y'all did not talk to me enough on this vlog to be my subscribers. And I'm at 173. I'm so happy. Thank you. I'm excited to be having 173. I'm almost at 200. I cannot wait to be at 250 because overall I have 503 subscribers over all of my both of my channels. I think I have to hit 500 on each channel to hit a thousand. I really, 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 really want to hit a thousand with 31 days, 31 videos thing. I should have did it when everybody did it last month, but I did it this month because they didn't say you had to do it last month. They said you had to do it. So I'm wondering what the outcome is going to be. I see a few subscribers, like a few additional people, but I don't see bloods and bloods and numbers, you know, like, I don't know. I was hoping it would be a, a way to gain subscribers on the channel, like, for real. But yeah, Christmas is coming up, y'all. I feel so sad about um, what happened with that apartment. Let's go look at some furniture. We never look at furniture. Let's go look at furniture. Um. They gave me a mattress, y'all, when I moved in my apartment. They had to deliver it, and then I had to turn it back around because the fridge right so wasn't in. And so, um, I didn't get my mattress. I had to turn my lights on, which means I incurred a bill. And then I had to turn them off. Like, but that's so in the fridge right was what it was. Like, my apartment was my apartment for an hour and a half before all that stuff changed. My bed was coming. Everything was coming to me. And it just didn't work out. And I feel sad for myself. Like, I really feel sad for myself. Like, I made a mistake and I should have just said, well, I don't have a soap in the refrigerator. But that soap in the refrigerator had all these germs in it. And it smelled bad. And I couldn't stand that. And people say, well, Kendra, do you care about yourself? Like, what do you think of you when you're looking at these apartments? What is the value that you place on yourself? And I thought about it and I was like, I would say very low. I was really in a rush due to the hurricanes and stuff like that, and I needed a place to stay, and the other places were not coming to me as quickly, and this guy was moving a little bit quicker, but that's because he was a car artist, and so I got approved for that one. The rent on the two-bedroom one, one and a half bed was $1,200 a month. The nicer ones were $990. That apartment I saw, showed you guys I was really excited about, $990 a month, and that was two bedrooms, one bathroom. Everything was $900, except for... This two-story, two-bedroom, which is around the corner from another two-story, two-bedroom that was nine ninety. This one's twelve hundred dollars. 
It was twelve hundred dollars. It was not included. It was not included in the repair. He changed some things about it, but you can shut up yourself. He changed some things about it, but he did not fix the things that he was supposed to fix. And so I didn't want it. So I, had, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, "Wow, can you just do this for me, please?" Because if I feel like if you don't do this, you're not gonna be a good landlord. And I was just sitting there thinking, I'm like, you're not going to be a good landlord. You're not going to be a good landlord because you're telling me for my health, I need you to take this refrigerator and this stove out of here because I can't clean. I can't cook. I shouldn't have to clean. He should have cleaned before I got this. should have been all clean, neat, perfect. You understand what I'm saying? I can't put my food in a dirty refrigerator, and I can't cook on a dirty stove. That's what I was trying to tell him. And I need him to come get that stuff. And I was just sitting there thinking, if you don't move it, you're not a good landlord. And he wouldn't move. Just didn't put a maintenance request. I'm like, I just barely moved in here, and this is your problem. It was a problem that you caused, and it was here when I got here. It was here when I moved it the first time. And you telling me to do what now? Put in a maintenance request? I think not. I think not. $2,400. Look, here's the refrigerator right here. For $219.98, they could have got that one. Could have got that for $249. No. And then, so much other stuff. So much other stuff. So, where am I? Now, as far as that goes, sad, because I don't have my old place in the same situation that I was in when I first got here, living wise, and um, just, <sighs> employment is still what employment is, y'all see I'm working, but it's not like a lot of work and stuff like that, and it's not school, of course, it's age period, it's always, I'm mean, always going back to high cuts during the summers or Whenever I have a break, whenever I have a problem, I rely heavily on hard cuts to be my employee because I've been with them for so long. So I first started working in 2019 in Florida. And then when I moved to Georgia in 2023, I started up with them there as well. And so they really been like a part of how I support myself. So I'm glad to have them there. I still have my registry posted. Nobody bought anything, but you know, these subscribers are not real to me. <laughs> Y'all not real to me. You're not real until you talk to me. For the ones of you that talk to me, I'm so appreciative of you. It's always a, a pleasant surprise when someone says something to me. I get excited. I feel like, oh my God, I can't believe somebody's actually watching, paying attention, has an opinion, and is sharing it with me. I'm like, I get so ecstatic. I'd be grateful. But then I'd be like, oh my God, I don't know what to say. I want to say the wrong thing. Turn them off and they unsubscribe. But talk to the views. And, I mean, talk to the views, talk to the subscriptions. But I'm grateful for all of you that actually view my channel. Really grateful. But yeah, I'm gonna stand still. And when I do get my place, I want things. I was so surprised that she told me she was gonna give me a bed. When I said I wanted a place, she was like, I'm gonna have a bed delivered to you. And I was like, what? And it came the same day. And then I had to turn around and take it right back. And not only that, she got me a full bed. And I was like, oh, a full bed? The man upgraded. He was like, what? You turning your bed around? The black guy, he delivered it. He was like, you turning your bed around? I can't believe you turning your bed around. And he upgraded you. He upgraded you to a queen. I was like, what? Yes, he upgraded me to a queen size bed. And I had to turn it back around. I was so sad. You know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. Because I needed that guy to work. You get what I'm saying? Look at this. It's cute. I needed him to work for that month that I was sitting around waiting on him during the hurricanes and stuff so that I could be in there and everything would be nice. That looks so big and pretty, though. I know I like that collection. I put this on my couch. <clears throat> But yeah, so got to complain, got to complain. When are we happy? In the meantime, look at some time. We do have some happy moments. Last night was awesome. I swear I miss that nigger. I swear I miss that nigger. I wanna go out like a nigger and yell, thank y'all, have a good night or something. <laughs> and walk off the stage. I don't understand, God. But you know, anybody can be a nigger. That person is a nigger. She's ignorant behavior. Look at this show. This pretty girl. Or is that the viral show? I think it's like the viral show, right? This says two hundred dollars. That's viral. Where the viral? I'm sorry. I'm just waiting on them to go by. All right. I'm gonna go the other direction. How about that? That will free it up. So. All right. So yeah, that show six hundred dollars. Pretty though, shape. But um, anyway. Yeah, I didn't really feel like doing much today. So I came to town to get my um, probably me a soda. Um, 
look at the comb through the kitchen. That's working. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I want to get myself a kitchen. Look at that. You see it? That's a projector. A projector with tripod and carry pouch. A screen and a speaker. Fire. To be a first bitches, you could go off me, you don't want to talk to me. I piss them off or I date them. I don't care. I ever, it's like I hate being 41 years old. I still got 25, but I'm 41. And my son is 22. He yeah, like he's 10. And he don't want to talk to me. I just don't want him to get his attitude to me. I'm giving him the universe his attitude about him, and he's dead somewhere. I don't ever want to not know what's going on with him, but I really don't know what's going on with him. I miss him and I love him, but he does not talk to me right now. And it's making me very sad. And I try to talk to him on the phone and grab to the phone. She is not very helpful. And she don't want me to talk to him like, oh, me and Cameron didn't fight about anything. The last time I seen him, I seen him and we didn't fight about anything. So why are you trying to keep from talking to my son on the phone? And I'm like, never in my life have some good books in here. How have I ever thought that I would have to go through a girl? talk to my own son that I gave birth to that I'm not sitting one. I thought, you know, me being his family member, I would have to go through that. I had a hundred and some dollars. I was like, yes, can I get to go buy groceries? Like, I'm in my first video uh, for my Black Hole New Week. No, my refrigerator is dirty. Oh, yeah, I think I just need one. Put it in a little cup of orange. Copy it, ma. All right, y'all, it's been 12 and a half minutes. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel today. Thank you for entertaining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the channel. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Like, anything that you guys want to talk about, don't forget to mention in the comment section below. I would love to chat with you guys in the video ideas that you have. I would love to shoot those for I would like to film those for you. If you think it's something that I can do or collaborate with you with, I would love to join you. And yeah, that's it. Alright guys, peace.